Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm just going to take a quick run through some of the games I've picked up recently before I start. Just take a look at some of this wonderful Genesis artwork we've got here on display. It really is quite surprising. Sometimes the West did get it right. And these are some stunning examples in my opinion. Spot a Ninja Golf and Darth Vader anyone? So here we go. The now infamous Oak Games cupboard has reached completely full capacity. So I'm just going to open that up and show you a few of the new items. Oh, stuff's fallen out already. Oops, nearly put the window through. So, got a couple of looses here. Seven pounds delivered, both of them. Turbo Outrun, one of the worst conditioned labels I've ever seen on a Mega Drive game. And Super Hang On. I wasn't too sure about these two titles, so I decided to go the cheap route, and in all fairness, I think I made the right decision there. Super Hang On's alright, Turbo Outrun's a bit average. So, next up, a couple of Genesis titles. We've got Ultimate Quicks, also, or Kicks, also called Volified in Japan. I did want the Japanese version, but I got this one for £4 delivered. It was more than twice the price for the uh, Japanese release, so I didn't mind picking up this Genesis version. Next up, a fishing game. It's King Salmon on the Genesis. Now, I do quite like the fishing games, especially my Sega Bass and Marine Fishing. Fantastic titles, and this one's got a bit of a role-playing game element. When you've got the fish on the line, it makes it interesting and different, so that was £5. Happy enough to pick that up. Uh, not a lot changed in Powerland. Other than Captain Scarlet, might wheel clamp your car if you're not careful. Not overly keen on continuing to pick up Power Mega Drive games, just basically because the majority of them have issues running at 60 hertz. So uh, down here, a few Neo Geo games, and the next Mega Drive title, which is Felios. And just look at this artwork. This truly is stunning. I love the games that the artwork wraps around. It's like, uh, the wing wraps around and the dragon's head. Just truly is special. A fantastic shooter that. Next up, Mutant League Football. Again, Japanese release. Look at that artwork. And a cracking game this, used to be a bit of a closet John Madden fan. So I was more than pleased to pick this one up. £10 on eBay delivered. Can't complain. And lastly for the Mega Drive, may well have caught a glimpse of it, it's Aladdin. Now I wasn't expecting to be really into this game, but I was playing it on PSP. found myself strangely addicted to it, and the animation, the graphics, the sound, this truly is a top-notch piece of Mega Drive programming. So really pleased to get that. So moving on now, away from the games cupboard, just give you a quick scout at the bottom there if you're interested. I bought another IMP joystick, you'll never believe it, I've got three of these now. Got this one for less than £5 delivered, cost the seller £6.50 postage, so absolutely crazy that they even sent it. Next up is a music CD, it's Hollow Belly. Now I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel down below, definitely check him out, this is a fantastic album. The first day I got this, I listened to it four times in a row, and to me that speaks volumes. Definitely worth checking out. Plays a cigar box guitar. I asked him to sign it for me, and he did do, so that was a nice little extra there. And then here we have some stunning Dreamcast shooters. Carney donated by Horatio Van Basten. Strikes back again. The only clue was the jiffy bag, it just said uh, HVB. I was going to scratch my head for a while and worked it out. But there's some, you know, classics here. Border Down, Under Defeat, Ikaruga, Mars Matrix, Bang.io. You know, there's there's hours of entertainment there. And Dreamcast, not really a system I'm interested in collecting for, just mainly down to space. But that doesn't mean I'm not afraid of finding the odd legitimate game. Much like this game here, Ducks. Now, I bought this because I won a £25 gift voucher in the Austin Mackett 1000 subscriber contest. And I thought this game seemed really interesting. I like the graphical style, probably not picking up very well here, but the soundtrack as well, just really looking forward. It's still sealed at the minute, but really looking forward to digging into that. And talking of sealed games, I've got two more to show you. First one, Under Defeat HD on the 360. I did go downstairs the other day, 
all intentions of opening these games and playing them. And then I discovered Chrono Blast by Naughty Games, a game which I will put a gameplay video of at some point shortly. Fantastic shooter on the Indie Games channel, 80 Microsoft points. Just do yourself a favour, straight after this video, just get over there and buy it. 80 Microsoft points, that's less than a pound, and it, it stopped me from playing this game and the next game. And I was down there for a couple of hours. And so the next game is Tropico 4. This is Jurassic Junkie's fault. Raving about this on the Friday Night Rant. And I was a massive fan of Tropico 3, so I thought, well, why not? Got this. Of this um, Under Defeat HD was about £8 delivered, sealed, and this Tropico 4 was 15 quid, so can't really complain. And even if I don't get around to playing them anytime soon, I certainly will in the summer because it gets really warm here in this games room, so it's nice to just sit in the. Uh, room downstairs with the patio doors open. So that's it, really have reached full capacity. You're not going to fit many more Mega Drive games, but in all fairness there are not many more that I actually want. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, hopefully I'll upload some more videos soon.